Hello, welcome back to Prospector. Right, where was I? I think I was going to do this quest, wasn't I? Um, right, so that's how I open it. There we go. Yeah, I was going to go find this planet and go map it. Yeah, I haven't played for a while, been watching the World Cup. But now that England are out, well, I'm pretty much out anyway. I don't need to watch it anymore. It does not exist. Oh, there's some places here. Um, yeah, we're at 30, 38, so we've still got a little way to go. Uh, I shall scan those on the way back, but yeah, I'm kind of wiggling around a little bit. I might as well have a look around and see what's here, so... Uh, come on, give me a way through this gas cloud. But, um, nope, it's not having it. Alright, just nip through there. 46, 43, oh dear, low fuel. Oh, it's actually only 50%, it's not that bad. And there is, or is that a ship over there? I think that was an abandoned ship, wasn't it? But there is a station up there. Um, yeah, the nearest one in that direction is way too far. But we're nearly there, actually. 46, 43. Uh, 46... 43... Oh, it's in a gas cloud, isn't it? Uh, I knew it! I knew that was gonna happen. I knew as soon as I got a quest to go map a planet, I was just like, oh, I bet that's in a gas cloud. Yeah, cheeky bastards. A thousand credits is a lot of money to map a planet, but, um... Fuel very low, yeah. I'm at a station, it's fine. Right, please give me fuel. Oh, we don't have a lot of credits, that's fine. Uh, did I get anything here? We've got nothing to sell them. We've learned that there are still working robot factories found on some planets in this sector. We'd like you to send an away team of scientists to one of those. Would you be willing to find a suitable target for 5,000 credits? Yes, I don't want to fight robots, honestly, so <laughs> we shall, you know, proceed cautiously with that one. Uh, who is a merchant convoy? Let's call them by radio. Right, I think we've spoken to these guys before. Oh. Right, so yeah, we can pirate these guys, but honestly we would get utterly destroyed, so obviously we don't. Want to do that? We can ask them what their cargo is. Uh, i just checking. Thanks, have a nice trip. Um, okay. They did not tell us, but they told us to have a nice trip, so I suppose that's nice of them. Well, let's scan this place then. Anything in there? Uh-oh. Uh, we've been attacked by a ship hiding among the asteroids. Balls? Um, okay. Right, so it's up to the top right there, I think. It's probably faster than us. Alright, so let's hope that they... Ugh! Asteroids! And gas clouds. Okay, I would like to... Uh, calling all the other ships. Ask opponents for surrender. Offer surrender or never mind. And ask them to surrender. They don't agree. I can't remember how to... Uh... I'm sure you can run away once you hit the map edge, but... Yeah, maybe it's one side of the screen or the other. Probably makes sense. No? Was it? Ah, there we go. Uh, we managed to run away. So, yeah. I mean, we could have fought them, but... Whatever. Let's try and scan that again. Is there anything there? Nothing remarkable. And the ship that was hiding there has just disappeared. <laughs> they have gone away. Alright. Nothing in either of these asteroid fields. It's a bit boring. Uh, yeah, we've got some uranium there, some silver. I'll just attempt to land on this planet. Um, let's land there. Right. So it's a bit warm, 200 degrees, but it's not too bad. Oh, um, oh there's a, a ship here. So there's an abandoned light scout. I actually want the uranium, but... Ah, we got the uranium, so let us proceed cautiously through this abandoned ship. Uh, what is that exactly? That's a sensors. Right, we shall not steal the sensors just yet. Um, one of these things. Weapons turrets and a shield. 
Is there anything in here? Any creatures? Some engine? Yeah. Hopefully we get some nice parts from this, but... Oh, it looks completely abandoned. Okay, anything in these loot crates? The ground rumbles. Uh-oh. Don't want to stick around too long, then. A grade 2 engine. Uh, I think we already have a grade 2 engine, but... We'll have a spare, I guess. A shield generator case. An empty weapons turret. Grade 2 sensor suite. Yeah, I'll have that. Alarms are sounding. Uh, airlock enter. Yes. Oh, there we go. That was fruitful. There was no oxygen in there. Let's uh, get some more oxygen. Where was that silver? I'm sure it was over this side somewhere. Um, yeah, I think it was down to the south, but I can't get there. Ugh. Mountains. Ooh, gold! Please shoot the mountain. One of these days I will remember to buy a laser drill so we can actually get through those things. Nope, I just physically cannot get to the other side of this planet. Oh, what a shame. Oh god, there's a tremor. Another tremor. Oh, fuck! An earthquake. Security member injured, one damage to spacesuits. Yeah, we just got a little bit fucked up there. Uh, doctor's getting some XP for fixing it up though, so that's not too bad. Yeah, probably needs to replace all of our spacesuits. I'm pretty sure that every single one of them has damage. Uh, chlorine suit. Oh, I think I need to look here. Uh, this suit is damaged. I don't know how. I don't know if you can repair them actually. Probably not. And I'm not really sure... I think just, yeah, just being damaged means that it offers less, um, protection. Probably, but, uh, I honestly do not know. There really isn't... Okay, the ground is rumbling. We're gonna leave. This planet is unpleasant. But yeah, there really isn't a hell of a lot of documentation for this game. Like, not a lot of tutorials and stuff like that. So a lot of this stuff is a little bit mysterious to me. Alright. It's a rather cool planet. About minus nine. Uh, no atmosphere. But there is some crystals there trapped in ice. Land here, please. Oh, it lied to me. <coughs> there are no minerals here. No, no. Screw you, ice. Uh, anything else of any interest anywhere? Doesn't look like it. Well, there's some copper, I suppose. Copper is always useful, as it is a very good conductor. And, yeah, it's non-renewable. Nope. Let me through the mountains. There we go. So, yeah, the ice is not melting, which is nice, even though the temperature is suddenly 1,333.3 degrees Celsius. What the shit? Uh, I guess maybe the planet is tidally locked or something. We just walked onto the daytime side. That could be the case. Although, I mean, what is this? It is ice, yeah. I mean, there's no atmosphere, but still, ice would melt. If there was no atmosphere, I'm sure of it. It's actually an enormous crater here. That looks like, uh... Yeah, yeah, I know. I'm already going back. Yeah, it looks like some kind of extinction event. <laughs> Maybe. There's another one here. We landed in it. Sorry, an extinction level event, I mean. An asteroid big enough to wipe out an entire world. Yep. This planet is awful. There's nothing here, and now it's minus 800 degrees Celsius. Which is totally possible! Yeah. Okay, we've got some uranium there, trapped in ice. It's probably lying to me again. Some more minerals. Okay, let's try and land next to this. Try not to hit the mountain. Uh, okay. Right, okay, he just succeeded in landing. He didn't damage the ship. It's fine. Right, let's have that, thank you. A large amount of transuranic metals. Very nice indeed. Uh, yeah, it seems like, I don't know, maybe it's just random, but the planets in this system are covered in enormous impact 
mountains and stuff. And it also happens to have two, uh, whatchamacallits, two asteroid fields in the system. So yeah, I'm just thinking maybe that's related. Large amount of transuranic metals. I hope we're keeping those in a suitable container. <laughs> just slip it in your pocket. It's fine. Uh, yeah, nothing else really. Off we go. We want to find planets with life on, really. Those are the most interesting. Now, there's a thing. Detected an object. Yeah, there's a weird thing in the middle of that. In fact, I actually missed something. I was watching the video back for the last episode, maybe? And yeah, I missed something on a planet. I may have to go back and check it at some point. But, uh, probably not today. Alright, we've landed here. I don't know what this is. This is an abandoned heavy troop carrier. Okay, let's have a look around. Take it slowly. Don't look in the crates yet. Uh, yeah, I'm being uncharacteristically cautious today, but... Oh, what is that? Oh yes, that is a weak laser drill. It is weak, but it is a laser drill. And we have no drills. But, of course, now we have one drill. So that is, uh, of course, one drill more than we had. So I'm happy with that. Right, yeah, it looks completely abandoned. Let's um, speed things up a little bit. That's pretty cool, though. Just finding a drill lying around. Uh, weapons turret. Anything in it? Nope. Uh, shield generator case is empty. I will have the grade 2 sensor suite. Red alert light flashing. Yeah, I haven't checked the after the ship here, but chances are there's nothing back there. Alright, anything in these? Nope. What about these ones? Nope. And... Yeah, the ground is rumbling. But that's... I think we'll be fine. Uh, another empty weapons turret. I don't know. It's kind of a nice ship, this. It's very big. Oh, shit balls. Alright, we better get some oxygen. Yes, we'll come back to the ship in a second. Right. You think we could just like activate life support or something like they do in Star Trek? And just sort of wander around with them uh, magnet boots that go vroom, vroom, vroom. Because <laughs> magnets make noises apparently. Who knew? I've certainly never detected any noise coming out of magnets, but I don't know. Alright, so what have I got here? Grade 2 engine. Yeah, I'll have it. I think we already have one, but you know. Alright, anything else? No, I think that's it. We've got a couple of little squares there to look at. Could probably just actually get out of here this way. Yeah, we're about to get hit by an earthquake, I think. Uh, right, I do see some palladium down here. I'll have that. Nom. You pick up the palladium. Yeah, so there's no helm in that ship, so I couldn't um, take over it or anything. But I don't really want a heavy transport ship. There are better ships than the one we've got, like, objectively better ships. But I think you have to buy them, so... Well, we might do that if we survive long enough, but... Not right now. God damn it, can I get back around here? Yes, I can. There we go. Okay, well, nothing else interesting there, so moving on. We found some sulfur, iridium, and pools of gloop. Hmm. Well, I land next to the iridium. Unknown. It's ammonia pool. Hmm. Did we get the iridium? Yeah, there it is. Right under the ship. Okay. Yeah, it's minus 200 degrees here. Really, really cold. I probably shouldn't be wandering around in the ammonium, but, um, yeah. <laughs> what have we got here? Volcanoes, lots of, uh, minerals by the looks of things. A lot of plants as well. Uh, dense, corrosive atmosphere. Alright, we're gonna do a bit of a smash and grab here. Because not all of our guys have acid proof stuff, so I'm just gonna grab that. I'm going to scan this tree, I'm going to scan some mushrooms and some other stuff around here. And probably, oh, I see iridium. 
Well, I might as well wander around a little bit. Yeah, let me get it. There we go. Yeah, well, let's just get the hell out of here before our spaceships dissolve. There we go. Alright, last planet. Ooh, lots of water. What's the uh, surface liquid? Where is it? 5% liquid surface. Really? <laughs> Okay, a very deep ocean covers this planet. Sensor readings seem to indicate large cave structures at the bottom. Has my mouse just been sitting down here the whole time? I'm sorry, that's really annoying. Ah, uh, yeah, so there's large cave structures. And no doubt there's some very peculiar things under there. So, I don't know, it's got a little spe bleh, special message. So, you would think this is a special planet, but... Alright, let's try... Well, I don't want to land next to a volcano. I'll try there. Uh-oh. Right, we couldn't land there. Uh, let's just keep scanning it. Uh, we do... No, we're just scanning zero kilometers squared. God damn it. Uh, let's just... Oh dear, what's that? What is this? We've got some oxygen as well, so that's nice. But yeah, we have a squibbly thing next to us. A large squid-like creature with a 5 meter long body, 3 5 meter long tentacles, and 3 shorter tentacles, only about 30 centimeters long. They don't seem to have any eyes, but the short tentacles are covered in fine hair, enabling them to sense vibrations. Its body is covered in very thick scales, it's unhurt, and it is attacking. And there appears to be 13 of them, actually. Um, yeah. So I'll shoot them once. Oh, there's another thing over here, actually. Is it it's just one of the... Yeah, it's the same creature. But it's um, swimming around, so it has a different tile, I guess. Okay, I've hit it for two points of damage. Uh, we're, not, we're not penetrating its armor half the time, though. The huge squid is slightly hurt. Okay, right, it's attacked. Uh, it's injured one of my many pilots. I don't know why I have so many pilots, but okay. <laughs> okay, uh, yeah, it's only injured them. Hopefully our doctor can deal with that. And, um, yeah, so how are they doing? 13 out of 5. I think we've killed quite a few of them. Okay, nobody's died yet. 3 points of damage, it's badly hurt. Ow. And we killed it. Yay! It did attack us kind of first. Well, it threatened to attack us anyway. So kill those. Oh, fuck me. There's more of them. Ow! How did you attack from over there? Uh, I guess it's got three meter long tentacles, hasn't it? So... Oh god, why is there little green things on that? Okay, it's dead. I don't know. It must be like little fish eating it or something. Alright, there we go. Let's give it a scan. Whoa, that took a long time to scan. And lots of stuff happened on the edge of the map. What was that? Oh god, look how many squid things there are. Holy shit. Yeah, don't scan things on a hostile planet. Holy fuck. <laughs> what? Okay, yeah, I mean, there's some here. There are four of them there. There's four of them there. There's four of them there. And there's 12 there. I did manage to one-shot the last group of four, so... No casualties. Yeah, we killed them. Ow! Okay, uh, we've managed to lose a security member. Eh, they're a red shirt. It's what they're paid for. Okay, uh, they're standing on my ship. I'm going to stand on my ship now. Thank you very much. There we go. Yeah, we're doing it. We're killing them. It's kind of hard to shoot. Because you can only shoot in cardinal directions. So, yeah, I mean, this dude to the uh, south. Whoa! Meteorites. <laughs> Killer squids. Oh, dear. Fucking hell, why is there so many of them? I mean, I could just leave, but... Uh, I don't know, it's pretty good practice, really. And we've only lost one red shirt so far, so... What is that? Ah, a large swarm of different kinds of fish forming some sort of symbiotic relationship. 
It is attacking. I will continue to shoot it. Ow! Oh, okay, we're losing people now. Run away! Okay. So, I guess we don't... Uh, let's just get it another time. Yeah, it all kind of froze over, actually. That's weird. Yeah, I guess we don't go to... Uh, I guess we don't get to go explore in the tunnels, that's what I'm saying. Alright, so I think next time we'll go back to a station and go pick up some more crew to replace the ones that just died. Hopefully we picked up their weapons and stuff, but I doubt it. <laughs> Alright, I'll see you next time.